steak chop around. <laughs> you get that next week. <laughs> Pipe by your own music. I get right when I want to. Okay, good luck. Good luck. <laughs> oh, I wrote this down. Let me get back to my notes. I'm all over the place. Uh, teaching can have its origin from the study of the Word and yet not be the revelation of Christ. A heart trained in the teachings of man will have difficulty receiving the revelation of Christ, even from the Bible. So if I'm trying to get righteousness connected to the letter, it only breeds condemnation. It's pre-wired for condemnation. Mm -hmm. wow. Wow. See, somewhere along the lines, people told you, if you want to find out what's wrong, go to the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. That's not true. Mm -hmm. I don't go to the Bible to find out what's wrong. I go to the Bible to find out what's right. Yeah. Yeah. I, can go, I can go to the Old Testament to find out what's right. You know why? <laughs> because I have a working relationship with the Holy Spirit. <laughs> If you have a living, breathing relationship with the Holy Spirit, you'll never have to worry about what's wrong. Mm -hmm. yes. wow. See, what's wrong is for the irresponsible. Wow. Yeah, I know. I know. That, that should have hit somebody. Yeah. See, that's what you, it's just the person that really don't want to take responsibility for their actions. So they just want to be walk around in, in a funk. Remember the funk she said? Yes. Yeah, yeah. You know, they want to be in the funk. See, I listen to the message. I'm just bringing in. Yeah, we just want to be in the funk. Because we want to act irresponsible. Mm -hmm. Wow. So we need somebody to tell us, you're bogus. <laughs> <laughs> you're wrong. But that means that you're going to always need an external source to validate your actions. <laughs> and that is not righteousness. And y'all wearing your pastor out. Mm -hmm. Not just not in this building. I'm talking about the other building. <laughs> not these people, the other building. Because if you really care, you'd be like, you know what? That message is right on tonight. Yes. I'm going to act responsible. I'm going to get my ship straight. Uh, I'm going to get the rudder right. Get on the steering wheel. And we're going to get to the dock. Mm -hmm. Stay out of turbulent waters. Peace and steel. Peace be steel. Right, steel waters. I'm here to close. I'm serious, guys. There is nothing outside of you that's going to make you right. The only way you're going to get right is your heart. Mm -hmm. I ain't got time, but I was going to go to Romans 5, Romans 6. We'll talk about it next week. I'm going to try to lighten the load as much as I can. Because there's a plain path for you. It really is. All the trepidation, all the apprehension, all the angst. They're going on. Mm -hmm. All the tight calls and the rock in the hard place. They ain't supposed to be in existence. That's not our portion, man. Amen. Trust me. And when that comes up on my radar screen, I get defensive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm like, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> you messing with the peace. Right. Right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Seriously, you got to get territorial with this thing. The enemy is territorial. Oh. You got to tell that, say, man, no! Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care if it comes from my beautiful wife, if it comes from my kids, if it comes from the, the male person, the male guy, woman, whoever it is, I don't care if I'm at a restaurant and it's a busybody waiter, waitress, you're not disturbing my peace. Yeah. Guess what? I don't care if it's y'all, as a pastor, as a set man in this house, I'm not going to let you disturb my peace. I'll let you go on and do what you got to do. I said, go ahead. I already know the end of it. <laughs> Don't <check> it. <laughs> the Bible says it, man. You're not, you think you're just the one clone out of everybody that can do what you want to and get right things? No. Don't work that way. No, I'm just going to do it anyway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Einstein, good luck. We'll be here when you get done. Mm -hmm. We have people leave the church and say, well, I really don't feel like God right now. I don't feel like being in the church. I don't feel like this. I'm, I, look, I'm not going to strain myself trying to figure out what was wrong with me. Mm -hmm. That ain't got nothing to do with wrong with me. Mm -hmm. It ain't me. You think, you think that's being, I, I just heard it in the spirit right now. Who do you think he is? There's a standard that I adhere to. Scriptures. Then there's a higher standard called the living Christ.
Christ. Yeah. That, that I give him a humble abode. And I choose to submit to him. Yeah. And somewhere along the line, you probably won't do it in this lifetime. But you will. But I guarantee you, you're going to suffer loss. Everything that you had, you think you created this atmosphere and all that stuff, you're going to suffer loss. I told you a long time ago, that's my greatest fear. My greatest fear is not that I'm going to get for reprimand or punishment of God. That's not my greatest fear. It, going to hell is not my greatest fear. I'm sorry. My theology could be off of concern. It's irrelevant. You know what my greatest fear is? Huh? Anybody want to take a shot at that? I just gave it away. Suffering loss. Doing something God told me to not to do. And then at the end of it, because I can't get time, it's the most important commodity. Mm -hmm. You can't go get time. I don't care. You can start over, but you can't go get time. So if you're going to be a faithful steward, you like to handle your money and all that. You, you like the treasures and the talent. You better give up the time. I want to handle my time. I don't have a lot of time. God only gave us a certain amount of time. I want to make sure that I do it. And I, you know, because you know, sometimes God will co-sign when you're doing something right. Oh yeah. Amen. He'll let you know. That's my son in whom I'm well pleased. He'll tell you from time to time. All right, let me let me, let me quit here. Praise God. I, I just I want to help this house. Amen. Elder my little came in. He said God is cleaning this house. So if you thought the people that left was on me, you soon say I'm a soon mistake. Yes, sir. It's a righteousness issue. Oh, yeah. Trust me. Oh, well, it is. The day that they prophesied, she taught, it's still a righteousness issue. Yes, sir. And the people that leave here, it's a righteousness issue. So don't take it personal. I quit doing it about 20 years ago. <laughs> I'm serious. I've had a lot of people walk out on me. <laughs> hey. I, I, I keep my heart. I, hey, if I made a mistake, I go back to people. I fat. I went back to people. Say, you know what? I blew it. I try to make sure my heart is right. I can't deal with the results of somebody else's action, mm -hmm. and nobody gonna make me penalize and carry that weight. Right. <laughs> and then I'm gonna stand up and minister out of bitterness because the knucklehead. Come on, man. Y'all gotta know me better than that. I still got other people to lead. Not just that one person. Well, they can think one monkey don't stop this, y'all. Come on. Now. Swing on that one. Now. Father, we just thank you. We praise you. We thank you for this word. We thank you for what you're, just, you're stirring in our hearts. And the root systems, especially righteousness, it's a root system on the new man coming to fruition. That the nature that you've deposited in us, the nature we carry, <laughs> divine nature activity. In us, in seed form, in us, God, longing to be clothed with mortality, immortality, and incorruption. Father, so that we can see you face to face. Not when we die, but when we can see you in the earth and recognize who you are to us. And who you are in us. And who you are through us. We thank you for that journey. And we just bless you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.